Hello, good afternoon, good evening, and good morning to everyone who's tuning in. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. On behalf of BOOGSB Student Chapter, I'd like to welcome you all in our fourth lecture of English for Professionals course. I'm Mona Jazza, oil and gas engineering student and I'll be your moderator today. Please don't forget to drop your questions in the Q&A section below. And please keep the chat box professional and ethical. So without further ado, let's welcome Mr. Ahmed Jad, who will be our instructor this course. He'll come in minutes, so wait. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome everybody. How are you doing today? We're doing great. Excellent. That's good. Are you feeling feeling energetic or feeling sleepy? Energetic, of course. Okay, that is good. So uh, tell me about uh, um, your uh, weekend. We have been away for one week. So anybody tell me a story. What happened to you last week? I'm listening. Anybody want to talk? Nobody would like to talk? Okay, um, I'm waiting for your introduction. That's why I'm silent. Are you going to make an introduction? So I uh, start or uh, are you, uh, I'm, I'm already to, uh, to start. 
I've already made an introduction. You can uh, start. Okay, I can start. Mike is yours. Okay, thank you very much. So how is everybody? How, everybody's fine? Um, how was your week? I want to tell you, I just uh, finished a session right now. And I just want to, alhamdulillah, to pray last, and then I came back to you. So I'm busy, busy, <sighs> too much busy, but uh, I will never be uh, uh, late for you because I like to be with you. And this is something very strange because whenever I, um, I feel tired, when I look to your session, I don't know why I feel very energetic and I feel ah, too much energy coming to me. Are you happy with that? Anybody happy with that? Thank you very much, Mona. I appreciate it. But uh, people seem to be sleepy. Somebody tell me something. We need a story from anyone. Who is going to volunteer to tell us a story that happened to him last week? Yes, we need interaction. This session is more, more about interaction. When you come to this English sessions, you have to be uh, interacting. And one thing I will, I will tell you that will make you happy, inshallah, that everybody who attend this session will have, uh, uh, inshallah, a certificate. And uh, uh, a list of names will be taken by the admin and the admin will send me this list of names. And we I, I am a partner in a training company in Egypt. It's called API. It's a, a training company that have uh, multiple branches in Turkey. Uh, it has in, um, it's now uh, processing in Saudi, in Bahrain, in Egypt, uh, uh, hopefully going into Kuwait. And inshallah, we are going to go to Iraq. I will be coming to Iraq uh, soon enough, inshallah, uh, representative to my company. Um, and this company will issue certificates for people who attend this workshop. Inshallah, bismillah, as an intermediate level. This course is an intermediate English level. So the certificate will tell, say your name and will say that you have completed the intermediate level. Inshallah, that you all pass through the exam. Inshallah, it will not be a very hard exam. But in the end of the day, you need to pass to get the certificate. Uh, and I, I hope that you all pass. Inshallah, I will not make it hard that, so that everybody passes. So that in the end of the day, you can put these uh, certificates in your CVs and add it to your uh, already uh, existing certificates. Anybody doesn't understand what I said? So should I say in Arabic? I guess they understood. Excellent. Okay. I missed the first session. Can I, I, I regret at the certificate? No, no, uh, Alhamima, uh, you will get your certificate. Just send your name to the admin. All those who need the certificate, uh, you can, yani, uh, and, and they can attend it. Even if they missed one or two sessions, they still can. Uh, the, 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 the workshop is eight sessions. We already finished three. Uh, we're still having five. Three will be this week, and two uh, will be the next week, inshallah. Everything was then shown, okay? So how well do you listen to me? Can you hear my voice well? Yeah, loud and clear. Excellent, very good. So today we're gonna to do some uh, different activities also regarding English, and we want to have some interaction with you. English is all about interaction. Always, is all, uh, English is all about practicing. Mm -hmm. You could never be um, uh, good in English until you practice. If you keep silent, uh, you will not get benefits of this course. And this is one amazing thing also, because this is all about human skills. Whenever we are moving, whenever we, uh, we are trying to do uh, a lot of activities, this is where we gain. So I will, I will, I will empower you and ask you and request from you today, please uh, share with me your ideas and share with me what you think. Uh, this will be very beneficial for you. And Okay, sir, I don't understand because of the bad net. Okay, let's see, I'll try another one. The people who are the Dora, the Dora is eight days. Inshallah, in three days, and two days, and two days, and eight days. The eight days, I'll take them a shahada from the company API. I'm a company, I'm a company in it. And this company works in Turkey, in Saudi, in Bahrain, in Egypt, and inshallah, in the Arab world. وان شاء الله هتاخدوا شهادات منها والشهاده دي هتبقى حاجه كويسه بالنسبه لكم في في مجالكم وتحط في السي في بتاعكم وهتبقى انجلش فور انترميديت ليفل وهنكتب في الشهاده دي 
الحاجات اللي انتوا بتقروا كويس وان انتوا بتفهموا كويس لغه انجليزيه والكوماند بتاعك بحيث ان الشهاده تتحط في السي في تبقى حاجه كويسه بالنسبه لك تقدر تساعدك وانت بتدور على شغل او انت بتشتغل يعني فده بس اللي انا حبيت اقوله يعني ماشي الكلام تمام واضح طيب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم آه، تمام بس انا عايز اقول حاجه لما تيجي تسجلي اسمك في الشهاده سجلي بالحروف اللي انت عايزاها تطلع في الشهاده everybody who actually going to register his name for the certificate please write your name uh, with the letters you'd like it to appear on the certificate for an example احمد can be a h m e d or can be a h m a d محمد can be m o h a double m a d or can be m m o h a m e d so everybody when you write your name to the excel sheet to the admin please use the letters you like to appear on the certificates حلو الكلام مع الادمن يا افراح يعني انت هتبلغي الادمن تقولي له ان انا يعني ايه اللي هعمله وهو الادمن هيبعت لي اكسل شيت والاكسل شيت دي انا هبعتها للشركه في مصر عشان تطلع الشهادات وهبعت له الشهادات للادمن والادمن بعد كده هيبعتها لكم ان شاء الله باذن الله حلو الكلام والله العظيم انا بحب اتكلم عربي قوي ان انا بتكلم انجليزي في حياتي يمكن 90% من وقتي الادمن اللي الادمن اللي هو يا احمد على الـ على الـ ماسك السيشنز في ادمن هنا ماسك اعتقد ان هو حيدر ربنا يخليك يا حيدر الادمن اللي هو منى صح كده منى انت الادمن صح يس سير تمام زي الفل ممتاز ممتاز طيب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وبينا نستعين اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى سيدنا محمد كما صليت على سيدنا ابراهيم وعلى سيدنا ابراهيم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا محمد كما باركت على سيدنا ابراهيم وعلى ال سيدنا ابراهيم في العالمين انك حميد مجيد رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ليتس ستارت توداي اور سيشن سو توداي وي ار جونا ستارت ان وذ سمثينج ديفرنت وي ار جونا ستارت توداي وذ كومبريهنشن اني بادي نوز واتس كومبريهنشن I will. I want to show you something first before uh, uh, I start. <clears throat> Can you all see my screen? Everybody can see my screen. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Uh, whenever you are doing files for English, I don't want you to put everything in one box. You have to. Uh, um, الاسم تبع تبعته لمن لمنى ذا ادمن يا منار يو سند يور نيم تو منى ذا ادمن اند شي ويل بوت ات ان اكسل شيت اند شي ويل سند مي ذا اكسل شيت ليتر وين وي فينيش ذيس سيشنز اوكي طيب سو از يو كان سي اون ذا ماي سكرين وات اي وونت يو تو دو از اي وونت يو تو ديفايد يور انجلش لانجويج بروجرام انتو سيجمنتس واي وي دو ذات تو اورجنايز اور ذا واي وي ثينك Because when I see here comprehension, grammar, professional stories, and vocabulary, I know what I'm trying to. أفرح اسم اللي باللغة الإنجليزية نحذفه ما ينشر دمنا. أنا مش هم. Ah, okay. So yeah, you are you are replying uh, to to to. Uh, Okay, I'm just uh, following up with the chat. That's why I saw that somebody is talking to me. So this is very important. When we open a folder, we find what we need. Had the Google folder inside the folder, as you can see, advanced, elementary, elementary, intermediate, and tests. So we always do have this kind of organization. The more you organize yourself, the more you are going to your your brain is going to work and grab the information quickly. It's very important to uh, uh, to organize your mind. As I told you before, your mind have a system, and this system in your mind, when the more you organize it, the more it gives you. If I'm just putting comprehension, and grammar, and stories, and vocabulary in one folder, you know what's going to happen? You're going to go and look between all the files. Oh, where is the grammar? Where is the comprehension? But now my mind feels relief. Why? Because I know that this inside this folder there is only comprehension. So I want to do comprehension now. Oh, I will go to vocabulary. So I go here for vocabulary. Then I will go to grammar. You got you got what I mean? You understand my my point of view? This is what I want you to do. Always organize yourself 
so that when you ever you want to practice English, go to the topic you need to practice. Don't waste time in searching and going to the search box and writing and all this stuff. You got what I mean? This is a very important point to do. So today we're going to start with comprehension. Let's start with comprehension. Bismillah. Okay, I'm going to take an intermediate comprehension uh, story. Let's open this one. Oh, okay, no problem. Now, everybody can see my screen? Yes, sir. Perfect. Now, who's going to read? We need somebody to uh, volunteer for reading, and then we'll go uh, for the questions together. Uh, who's going to read for us? I'm listening. I need a volunteer. You can raise your hand. And okay, Abdeljadid, you can start. Okay, go up, Jelly. Start. Start from this, from here. Yeah. We are listening, Abdel Jalil. You have to um, unmute yourself and then start reading. Haider also raised his hand. We are listening. Okay. Hello, sir. Hello, Abdel Jalil. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm fine. What about you? Alhamdulillah, I'm very well. Uh, let's get started. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Uh, directions read the following passage and answer the questions that follow. Mm -hmm. Refer to the next text to check your answers when appropriate. Perfect. In this age of text, text and, and tweets, it's easy to send messages. You just press, press a few buttons and boom, your message is sent. The person to whom you sent it will get it in just a few seconds. Distance is no longer an issue, but things weren't always so easy. Okay, uh, just one moment. I want you when, you when you read, okay, especially when you are reading public, because this is something um, uh, that I want you to have a talent. But this is for all of you. When you read, if you are going to read in public, try to um, uh, saturate. You know what saturation? Saturate what you are reading with passion and emotion. You got me? Let me give an example. If I'm going to read this passage, I'll say, in the age of text and tweets, it's easy to send message. You just press a few buttons and boom, your message is sent. The person to whom you sent will get it in just a few seconds. Distance is no longer an issue. Issue, but there wasn't always it wasn't always or things wasn't always so easy now i love you reading uh, i and you're going to go on continue but did you get my point everybody got my point yes sir excellent so i because this will make you uh, give you the habit of when you are reading something in public, you are going to saturate it on, uh, with, with passion. So people will listen to you. This is very, very important and a very good talent. Yalla, go ahead, Abjuril Kamil, continue. In 1848, yalla. In 1848, gold was found in California. Thousands of people rushed there to get some. Many people liked living there and decided to stay. But there wasn't a whole lot between California and Missouri. Missouri. Where it's it's pronounced Missouri. Missouri. Yeah. Where, the, where the nearest train ran. Train the train, line. Mm. Yes, the train line to California wasn't finished until 1869. Took a long time to ride a horse to Missouri. To Missouri. So, what did you understand from uh, what you have read uh, so far, Abdul? What, what did you get? What, what, can you uh, expect what are they are talking about? Just expectation. Okay. 
Can you expect Abdel Jalil what they are talking about? Anybody, ha anybody have an answer? Anybody has an answer? Yeah, I, I have an idea about what they're talking about. What they are talking about here? Uh, uh, they said uh, in the first uh, in the first paragraph, it is mm -hmm. easy to send a message or mm -hmm. or or uh, to communicate with other people uh, in a long distance. But it, uh, but when they said when they said in 19, in eighteen forty eight, uh, uh, they, they said a uh, thousand of people uh, live in miles away, so it's hard to communicate with them. You have to travel miles and distance, and you have to ride a horse, mm -hmm. maybe starve or thirst. So <laughs> it's easy in this age we live in, the technology we have, it is easy to communicate. I guess excellent, that's it. Excellent, excellent. Very good. David. So we're talking about communication here. Okay, go ahead, Haider. Continue reading. Yellow. Imagine. Uh, yeah. So yeah, yeah. So uh, where where was we? Imagine, uh, imagine, ima we? imagine. I'm I'm standing here. Imagine. Uh, imagine that uh, that it is the year 1860. You have moved to California to open a shop. Most people, uh, most of your family, stayed back east. Your shop is doing well, and now you want your family to join you. How do you get news to them? There is no phone, no train. You can't leave your shop for too long. What do you do? Well, you could use the Pony Express. Mm -hmm. In 1960. And 18, in 19, 18, 1860. Uh, 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 sorry, I'm mm. confused. Uh, in 1860 and 1861, the Pony Express uh, was the fastest way to get news to, uh, to and from the West. Mm -hmm. The trail that they, uh, 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 the trail that the road was around to, uh, 2,000 miles long. Mm -hmm. It took most people weeks or months to ride that far. The Pony Express could make the trip in just 10 days. Excellent. Those, mm -hmm. those speeds were uh, Unheard of. Unheard, unheard. Unheard of at the time. So how do they do it? How did, well, how, how did they do it? Well, uh, they had a good system. Excellent, Haider. Thank you so much. I want to uh, highlight something here. Uh, the word months. The word months has two pronunciations. One is one month only. So we put our tongue uh, between our teeth and say months, months. Okay, but if it's it's a plural, we don't uh, uh, pronounce the th. So we say months, like s months. So it's either months or months. Don't ever say months. There is nothing called months. It's not months. It's either months or months. Okay. So when it's too many months, it's 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 uh, by by s. Okay, Abdelji, no problem. Okay, who like to read again? Ha, mini Campbell. Ha, we need somebody else to volunteer. Go, okay, Manar. Unmute Manar, please. We need to hear Manar. Unmute Manar. She's going to read. Can you raise your hand, Manar, so that she can see you and unmute you? Okay, Manel. Okay, Manel. Okay, go ahead, Manel. Manel or Manor? Manor Khaitar, she wanted to read, but, but Manel raised her hand. Okay. If you, when you raise your hand, Manor, you will be unmuted. Yeah. Okay. 
يلا جو اهيد منال من اول هنا يلا جو اهيد يلا يا منال يلا يا جماعه والنبي تعبان قوي مش قادر يلا عشان خاطري منى بليز ان ميوت منال عشان تقدر تقرا She can unmute herself. It's not restricted. Okay, Manal, yeah, go ahead, Manal. Yeah, now you are mm -hmm. unmute. Mm. Can you hear me now? Yeah, start from here. The pony. Hello. Yeah, we I, we can hear you. Can you hear us? Thank you. Okay. Mm. Uh, the Pony Express had uh, one hundred eighty-four. That's right. <laughs> yes, 184 stations. Yes, that's right. Along the trail. The trail, trail. Trail. Trail like the train. Uh, same like train. Train, trail. Okay. Trail. Okay. Hmm. The stations were around then mil apart. This is about how ten, far. Ten miles. Ten miles. Miles. Ten miles hmm. Apart. This is this is about how far a horse could mm -hmm. run. At a gallop before training. Uh, for, 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 for tiring. Before tiring. Ah, before tiring. Yes. The rider, the rider would switch mm -hmm. to new wait, to new horse at mm -hmm. each station. Mm -hmm. He will only take his mail uh, bush with him. Mm -hmm. Every 75 to one, 100. So every, every, every 75 to 100 miles. Miles? Okay. Miles. Yes. Every uh, 75 to 100 miles, yeah. The rider would get to a home station. At each home station, riders will rest. Before resting, uh, he, will, he would give his mail Mm -hmm. Push to a new rider. The mm -hmm. main left stopped mm -hmm. moving. Even mm -hmm. when he hours and riders rested. Mm -hmm. So, uh, did you understand what he means here? We had 184 stations where uh, the stations were uh, 10 miles apart. Uh, this is the maximum the horse can run, uh, like like actually in a, in a, in, a, uh, in in a circle. And the rider will switch to a new horse each station. So the rider goes to the new station and take a new horse. Okay. He takes the mail, which is the dispatch. And every 75 to 100 miles, the rider would get uh, to a home station. where actually one big station. At each home station, the rider would rest. He will take some rest and nap and sleep and eat and all this stuff. He would give his mail pouch to a new rider. This mail, so this, the mail will never stop. It's just like follow up. One gives another, one gives another, one gives another. You got what I mean? You got what I mean? Okay. Right. Now I think Manar wanted to read. Thank you very much, Manel. Can you you can lower your hand? And I think Haider is raising your hand. Can you tell us, Haider, what you uh, are you, you are asking a question or what you need? No, I actually it's for the speed so. You were asking for participation, so I want to participate, but I'm giving an opportunity. So I no, no, I, I cannot so hear you. I, can you say again, uh, Haider? Can you please say again? Uh, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, now I can hear you, yes. Uh, so I want to participate, but so I now get the opportunity, so I give her the chance to participate. That, that's all. Uh, okay. So you don't need to share anything with us now? No, no. Very good. So thank you very much, Haider. Manar, you wanted to read. Where is Manar? Yes. Yeah, go ahead. Yalla, Manar Khater. Manar Khater from Algeria, yes? Yes. Yeah, go ahead, Yalla. I have uh, two Algerians with me in this workshop. Both are from, uh, both are from uh, I think, from the capital of Algeria. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Uh, it, it was touched to ride for uh, the Pony Express. Mm -hmm. Each rider had to wait less than um, 100, uh, uh, 100 
25 pounds. Yeah, so the rider should not be yeah. fat. He's not be eating. He has only to be 125 pounds. And a pound is half a kilogram. Yes. So, as, uh, of course, you are actually a uh, uh, university of uh, petroleum, so you should know that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah uh, speed was the K. Key. Most of key. Yes. Uh, yeah, was the key. Mm -hmm. Most of the riders were uh, teenage boys. Mm -hmm. They rode at a fast pace for up to 100 miles a day. Miles, ma 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 miles. Miles, okay, yes. a day. Mm -hmm. If there were uh, an emergency, one may have to ride uh, 200 miles in a day. What, if it was the emergency, right, um, um, uh, might. One might have the right. One might ride. have right 200 miles in a day. Yes, okay. The right could be road and dangerous. Rough, rough. GH here. And any time you find, any final time you find GH, it's half. Like, uh, let's say rough, okay. tough. You got me? Tough, rough. You got okay. it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The mm -hmm. right could be rough and dangerous. Mm hmm Attacks by Native Americans were uh, common, mm -hmm. but in its time running, the Pony Express only lo uh, lost one one male pooch. Oh, so the, the the Native American are the, the what they call in America the Red Indians. Those are the Native Americans. This is what they mean. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Anybody like to continue? You like to continue, Manar? Or would anybody like to uh, to read again? You like to continue? Okay. Okay, go ahead, Jill. Uh, the Pony Express filled uh, an important role for time, but it did the uh, it did not l l last. Last, it's done. It didn't last. Oh. Yeah, the Civil War started in April uh, of uh, eighteen sixty one. Mm -hmm. uh, this was bad news for the owners. Mm -hmm. The worst for them was yet to come. Mm -hmm. On October uh, 40, um, 24th, 24th. Mm -hmm. yeah, 24th, uh, 1861, the mm -hmm. first telegraph line of to California was finished. Mm -hmm. this, link, uh, this linked them to the rest of the country. People could send messages uh, in an instant. Two days later, the, uh, the Pony Express closed. But the, the lore of the brave ride, riders lives on even today. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Now, what we're going to do here is we are going, I'm going to uh, send this uh, comprehension for you right now. And I'm going to give you 15 minutes. Okay. And uh, let me uh, ask, uh, um, okay, we cannot make separate rooms because they are too much. I will give you 15 minutes to answer the questions. And then I'm going to uh, um, um, uh, to um, uh, uh, open the comprehension again, and we are going to answer it together to check that our answers are correct, okay? So look in the chat. I will make sure that I'm sending it to everybody. Uh, let's see here to everyone in the meeting. And we will put the file, what's going on? Okay, all right. What, what's the name of the, let's stop sharing, okay. Mm. Okay, let me just make this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so anybody, everybody can see the file now? I sent it to you, okay? Yes, sir, we can see it. Yes, please uh, open it, everybody, and you have 15 minutes from now to answer the questions. And after 15 minutes, let's meet again. So it's now in my watch is um, 4.40. Uh, so let's meet at uh, 5. I will give you 20 minutes. 
And when we meet at, at five, let's uh, answer the questions. Okay? Anybody have any anybody have any question? Okay. Type. Yalla, you have 20 minutes now to answer all the questions and then we'll go and answer it together. Yalla, I am with you. You have 15 minutes. Uh, 20 minutes, I'm sorry.
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ويلكم باك فينيشت ولا لسه محتاجين وقت أكتر do you need more time I think I give you uh, like 15 minutes now My boys and girls, do you need more time or you're finished? Okay. Perfect. Let's give them these uh, eight minutes. Okay, let's give them some eight minutes. Okay, I'm here for you. If you need me, just raise your hands.
يا سلام ما شاء الله يعني بصراحه منى هي الحكم الدولي منى هي اللي ماسكه السفاره يلا يا منى صفاري عشان الناس تبتدي يلا فيري جود اوكي تعالوا نجاوب الكومبرينشن مع بعض وبعد كده ان شاء الله سبحانه وتعالى هندي هوم ورك في الكومبرينشن الكومبرينشن مهم قوي مهم قوي يا جماعه اتس فيري امبورتنت تو هاف كومبرينشن لانه ده بيقوي اللغه جدا طيب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم احنا عندنا الكومبرينشن يلا الاسئله انا هقولها ويو كان رايت اون تشات اور يو كان سي ات ان لاود اف يو لايك يعني ممكن تقولها بصوت عالي او ممكن ايه تقولها ماشي ريدي Let's start. Okay, everybody sees me? Yes, sir. Okay, perfect. Now, first question. Huh? What is the answer? Let me just bring this up. So what, which happened first? Settler rushed to California to find gold? Or the Pony Express, is, uh, Express was started? Or the train to, uh, line to California was finished? Or the first telegraph line to California was finished? Which uh, answer is the correct one? Let's uh, see. One is... Uh, that's correct. Had you ever seen the year without seeing it? Without seeing it, we'll see it. We'll see it. We'll see it. اوكي هو 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 جربويا قال كل الاجابات طب استنى جربويا علينا طب ادينا فرصه طب نتنفس هنمشي سؤال سؤال اني واي نو بروبلم حد فاكر السنه بتاعت كاليفورنيا كانت سنه كام انا فاكر حد فاكر 1848 صح برافو عليك يا حيدر برافو عليك 1862 يا محمد ما كانش ده هو الحميمه هذه اوكي <تصفيق> تمام طيب ليتس جو تو سكند كويستشن ويتش بيست اكسبلينز واي بوني اكسبريس رايدر هاد تو وي ليس ذان 125 باوندز Which one gives the, the best expression? Heavier men were more expensive, while the horses were scared of heavier men, while the heavier men can scared uh, men scared customers, while the horses could move quicker with lighter men. Which answer is true? Huh. D. Bravo, Aleko. Excellent. Wallah, shatreen. Type. How fast could the Pony Express take a letter from California to Missouri? 24 hours, 20 days, 10 days, one month. Which answer is the right one? B, 10 days, bravo, aleko, mumtaz. Why were the Pony Express station about 10 miles apart? Tabli, limaza. This was about as far as a man could walk in a single day, well, as far as a man could ride on a horse in a day, well, this was so the rider wouldn't get uh, lonely at night, well, this was for a horse could run without getting tired. Allah, you know what, aleko, igabadi, sah, bravo. Which was probably, probably not a requirement to uh, be a rider for the Pony Express. You had to be light, well, you had to be able to read and write, well, you had to be an expert horse rider, well, you had to be brave and uh, in the face of danger. C is, C is wrong, C is wrong. Uh, yes, exactly. Yeah, exactly. A is the correct answer. You had to be light. It doesn't to kun khafif. Oh, I could for Kirin and Nita Kunur. Light in a mishmana nur. Light in a mana khafif. Which best describes that main idea of the fifth paragraph? It's about uh, how many Pony Express stations there were. Well, it's about how the Pony Express carried mail so quickly. Uh, well, it's about how the Pony Express rider slept in the station. Well, it's about how far the Pony Express rider will go in a day. Al-Igaba, uh, it's about how many ponies Express stations there That's right. Al-Igaba, hakun e. Al-Igaba e. Al-Igaba sahiha e. The fifth paragraph, the paragraph of Hems. Okay, which one of this end uh, of this ended the Pony Expresses? The Telegraph War in Native America, the Civil War, or the Trail Line? Which one ended it? Huh? E, bravo, Ali Abdujilil. The Telegraph. The About how far did Pony Express rider travel on usual day? Ten miles, hundred miles, two hundred, two hundred, two thousand. Huh? Kamba. Hundreds, but stop. But if the extraordinary uh, situations, I will extra uh, extraordinary situation at two hundred. Bravo, Aliko, Mumtaz. How many mail pouches did the Pony Express lose? Lose. The Pony Express never lost a mail pouch. One, too many, two. Huh? When you only give a. Come on, you know what's a pouch? How many pouches? B exactly one maximum boy. Which title best describes the author's purpose in writing this? One of out of touch, why phones are faster than horses? The Pony Express stories of their bravery in battle. Back in touch, why we should use horses to deliver the mail. The Pony Express about the 1860 fastest mail service. Yes, uh, A is correct. Yes. Uh, why we should do no. 
C is not correct. A and D. The Pony Express about 86 is fastest mail service. That's right. A is correct and D is correct. Very good. Now, I will leave for you one, two, and three to do it uh, as a homework. So uh, uh, one, two, and three are homework. Tamanil admin, please take the notes of that and send it to everybody. So one, two, and three are homeworks. Okay. ماشي يا جماعة؟ اوكي اوكي بيرفكت ناو اي ونت اسك يو كويشن دو يو ثينك ذات ذيس كومبريشن واز بينيفيشال فور يو دو يو ثينك ذات يو لايك ات يو ثينك اتس اتس ميكينج يو هابير اند مور بروجريسيف ان 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 ستاديينج انجلش اور وات دو يو ثينك؟ يا اتس سو هيلبفول سو هيلبفول سو in the telegram i'm opening the telegram right now i'm going to send you another comprehension okay which will be you will take it from the beginning you'll read it and answer it. so we have one two and three is a homework and here i'm opening the the, the uh, here again and i'm going to send you right now another intermediate comprehension now i want to ask you a question again do you think that intermediate level is good for you i because i have elementary passages do you need less uh, difficult passages or this one is okay? I need to listen to you. What do you think? This level is okay or you need less difficult? I guess it's okay. It's okay. Everybody thinks it's okay. Perfect. Do I have messages here? This level is good. Excellent. Perfect. So I'm I'm sending you now another one. Uh, okay, it's called seat belts. Here I go. Homework. It's on. Now it's on. Number two. Let's say homework number two because we have number one. Homework number two. Read and answer. And so it's now being sent to you, okay, uh, in Telegram, so you can uh, read it and uh, then answer the questions. I think I shared it in the right thing. Yes, that's right, it's in the right uh, group. All right, so now, so far, we have studied two uh, uh, kind of tenses. Anybody remembers what, which tenses did we study? Which tenses did we study so far? I don't understand why we choose uh, A for the fifth question. Let me, uh, the correct is D. Okay, okay. Let me answer first Mustafa uh, and, uh, and Balsam because they have a question. Let me take care what they say. Okay, uh, Balsam and Mustafa, uh, let's go to the fifth question. You are talking about number five. Number five is which was probably not a requirement for a rider for the Pony Express. You had to be light. You had to be able to read and write. You had to be an expert in horse rider. You can. Uh, you, you had to be brave in facing gender. So we said A. This is the requirement. You have to be uh, less than 125 uh, pounds. So you had to be light. This is why we chose A. This is what you mean? The fifth question? Is this what you mean? No, we did not study most and past simple yet. We studied present simple and continuous. The, does this answer your question, uh, Balsam and Mustafa? I'm talking to Balsam and Mustafa. It's proper or not. So the, the correct answer uh, is, uh, is A, 5A. Okay, convince Balsam. I don't like to skip any question from anybody. That's why I stop here. خلاص. أكمل. أتوقع الله. Perfect. خلاص. It's it's the answer is A. I see. Oh, okay. But Mustafa, go ahead. Mustafa, yeah, تفضل. Yeah, the 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 first question is said not requirement, not the requirement. So the answer I think is D. 
Oh, that's correct. It's my mistake. Yes, you are right. Which was probably yeah. not not a requirement. Yes, that's correct. Exactly. Yeah, thanks, sir. Uh, it's it's my mistake. I didn't notice the not. I thought it's a requirement. This is my mistake. I totally apologize. And I ask you Sah. You had to be able to read and write. This is correct. Uh, you had to be an expert in writing uh, or a horse rider. This is correct. You had to be a brave and fit danger. This is correct. The only one which is not correct, you had to be light because this is the correct one. Sah. Bravo, Mustafa. Bye now, Alik. الله ينور عليك يا بلسم والله ما شاء الله بلسم والله العظيم يعني فعلا يعني حاجة عظيمة جدا ما شاء الله صح it's my mistake الواحد من كتر ما هو يعني بيطلع من سيشن يخص في سن في حاجات بتفوت منه ودي هي فايزة فايدة الفريق أشكركم جدا yes you are correct بلسم and مصطفى is correct the heavier me make the mental to the correct answer is C صح that is correct طبعا برضو كلامكم مظبوط جدا وأشكركم جدا انتوا تنبهوني أه uh, okay, that's correct. Remember, not. I didn't notice not. خالص. ما خدتش بالي من not. Which was probably a requirement. أنا ما شفتش كلمة not خالص. يعني أنا كل اللي مركز فيه which was probably a requirement to be a rider for Pony Express. سبحان الله فعلا العقل البشري ده عجيب. يعني بيساعد بيلغي حاجات. بيبقى مش شايف. مع إن أنا بعمل كورس دلوقتي عن حاجة اسمها situational awareness. في يوم من الأيام كده هكلمكم عنها. حاجة عظيمة جدا. بس أنا هنا في اللحظة دي كانت situational awareness بتاعي مش عالي. فما ال situational awareness هو إزاي بتلاحظ الأشياء ولا. ربنا يخليك يا محمد آه شكرا يا بلسم طيب ليتس جو تو جرامر ناو تعالوا بقى نخش على الجرامر آه بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم آه نفتح دلوقتي الجرامر احنا خدنا اوريدي تد... انا طبعا الكتاب اللي انا شايره معاكم ده كتاب جميل جدا وانا شاركته معاكم قبل كده في التليجرام وده من احلى كتب الجرامر اللي انت ممكن تذاكر فيها اتس وان اوف ذا بيست جرامر بوك اند اي ويل شير ات اجين ناو ان تليجرام for those who do not have it or did not take it. So let me share it with you again. I want you to have this book. Okay. English grammar, yes. Okay, it's 19 minutes, it's already um, delivering. It's a very, 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 very efficient and effective grammar book. And we are going in this book in uh, chapter number eight. When you open this book, you will find. Let's let me show uh, share something with you. Can you all see my screen? Yes, sir. Yeah. So this is the book. It's called Basic English Grammar. It's a very easy, and it's written by Betty Azar. It's a very very nice book. It's American. She's an American lady, and uh, it's beautiful book. Uh, when we go through the contents using verb to be, uh, verb to be and have. Using the present simple, you can practice here in chapter number three. If you need to practice, please go to this chapter and, and, and practice more uh, present simple. And then your present progressive, which is the present continuous. Okay. Uh, and then talking about the present and then now in the pronouns, counts and non-counts name. It's a very, very, very good book. Now today we are going to go to page 213, where we actually going to uh, talk about past, which is a little bit easier than present simple and uh, and, and present uh, uh, progressive. Okay, so let's go to page two, two, three. Okay. Yes. Right. Present simple is very easy. It's a, it's something happened in the past. So as we can see here on the book, it's a, when you are expressing through verb to be, now am becomes was and uh, R becomes where. And you use where whenever you are talking about either uh, uh, groups or you are talking about uh, uh, we, you, or they. So we say they were, you were, we were. When you are no talking about he or she or it was, so you say Alice uh, or, or, an, or a, uh, a, a singular name. Alice is at the library today. Alice was at the library yesterday. I'm in class today. I was in class yesterday. And one of the things I would like to highlight here, uh, sometimes when you are uh, uh, translating from Arabic to English, you don't use the, the time words. Like say, I was in class and then, no, it's important to, to, uh, to define the time. So the, as you can see here, I was in class yesterday. Uh, Alice was in the library yesterday. It's very important to uh, define the, don't just write half sentences because some people just 
translate uh, to Arabic, for, for, to English from Arabic, so they don't tend to do that. Like I was, as we can see here, you were if one person or you were if more than one person, she was, he was, it was, we were, you were, they were. Now, this is a very easy exercise. We can do it either by chatting or we can, uh, you can say if you like. Bob is in class today, he was uh, in class yesterday. I'm in class today, I was in class yesterday too. So, Mary is at the library today. Huh, what's the answer? Very easy. Uh, Mary, right, just try the, 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 the correct sentence or just try to correct verb. Yeah, you can see it or write it on the chat. I'm opening the chat box. Mary was, exactly. We are in class today. We? Yes, exactly. As they, I think it's very easy. So this is uh, chapter number eight. Yes, exactly. So please go ahead and do that. It's very easy. Five, let's go uh, further. Di directions. Talk about today and yesterday. Close your book for this activity. I'm in class. I'm in class today. I was in class yesterday too. Speaker A and speaker B. Speaker A says to speaker B is in class. Speaker B is in class today. She was in class yesterday. So these are some sentences we you can actually start using the past simple. Can anybody pick any sentence and verbally uh, speak to us about something he did yesterday using these sentences. Yeah, who can speak up when we all listen to him uh, talking about these sentences uh, in past tense. Yalla, we need to hear it. It's not writing here, it's, it's somebody speaking. If you want, please raise your hand and go ahead. Who would like to volunteer? Yalla, we need to hear you. يلا يا جماعة الناس اللي نايمة صحصحوا بقى شوية ها uh, who's going to volunteer I'm waiting anybody is going to volunteer to uh, give us sentences yes okay Maud Carson okay um, I cannot see. Had I call him a gama, had I Lena Gomaldi? Anybody like to speak up? Into Mogudino lay. I cannot hear anybody. Yes, raise your hand and join. Yes, exactly like Mona, uh, the admin said. Please raise your hand. I need to hear from you. It's very important to hear from you guys, boys and girls. It's not just me, one person talking. We need to talk. What, what's the question? The question is in number two, exercise number two, we need someone to use these sentences and talk to us in English about the past simple, using the past simple and using these sentences. Mohsin, go ahead, Mohsin, yalla. We are listening to you. Okay, uh, number one. Okay. Uh, we are in class. We yes. were in class. Okay. Yesterday. Okay, go number ahead. Do, uh, I yeah. am in class. Mm. I was in class yesterday. Mm. He is in class. She was in class yesterday. Excellent. Thank you very much, Mohsin. Thank you very much. Asia. I see you. Uh, uh, I think uh, a girl is named Asia. Come on, Asia. Come on. Yalla, we are hearing you. Asia Muzahim. You want to share with us? You can now, you can put your hands down. Okay. Satali, Satali Manel. Okay, go ahead. Hi there. Hi. Hi there. Uh, we, he and uh, Ali and uh, Tara are in a class. Okay. Uh, he is here. He yes. was here. Mm -hmm. He is here. Okay. And uh, he is in prison. Okay. And I am tired. Okay. And uh, in the so what are you, what's going to be? I am tired. What is going to be? I was tired. 
Excellent, excellent. The door is open or closed? Huh? The door? The door is uh, open. Or closed, yeah, anything. Huh? Huh? The door is what open? Excellent. Okay, thank you. It's a very easy thing, but I just wanted you to speak up. Thank you very much for uh, sharing. Thank you, Mohsen. Thank you, Asia, for uh, sharing your ideas. Now, to, uh, when, we, when, we, when we want to do a negative, it's a very easy stuff. We just say, I was not. Just push was not. Or you can abbreviate it by saying wasn't. Okay? I'm sorry, the light here goes off. All right. So it's, it's, it's very easy here when you use this kind of stuff. You can just say, say uh, they were not at home. They weren't at home. Uh, um, as you can see, uh, she wasn't, um, was plus not, or were not. Very easy thing. Um, and this is some of uh, the verbs of today and yesterday. So this is by you using the past tense with, with, an, or, with either are, uh, an are or was and were. And when we use this past simple, this is when you are speaking about someone. And you are using this auxiliary verbs, is and are, okay? So, uh, page 200, I will write uh, in the chat here now. Um, what's, what's the chat? Yes, what's the chat, 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 chat. Oh, wow. Too many application open, what is the chat? Yes, the chat. So, page page 214 in the essential grammar. Is homework. Okay, page 214 is homework. Uh, and 200, okay, 215 as well. And 215. Okay, sorry. Okay, please for 14 and 215. Can everybody see this homework? It's it's found there, 214 and 215. Uh, okay. Now we go to 216. Sorry. Uh, when we go to uh, the past uh, in 216, okay. For the, okay. Uh, when we make, want to make questions, this is in past uh, 216, we just turn up the words. If we are talking about uh, the is and are or was and were. So were you in class yesterday? Was Carlos at home last night? So when you are using a name or a singular name, you use was at the beginning. So, okay. Uh, and when we are making questions, this is a very important thing I would like to highlight here because I see most people uh, speaking, uh, they actually make uh, uh, a mess of that. When you ask a person, where were you yesterday? You don't say, where where you were yesterday? I hear a lot of people asking this question. Where Jennifer was? No, you cannot put the subject before the verb in this can sentence. Because when you answer, you are not going to say, was Jennifer? You are going to say, Jennifer was. So you're going to mix, uh, return it back. So it's always make sure while you are speaking or writing, if you are asking a question, to put the, the, the is and are or was and were before uh, uh, putting uh, the, the subject of the sentence. So you never say where, where, where you were or where Jennifer was. This is not correct. So here's, here's an exercise for you, page 17. You at home last night. Were you at home last night? No, I wasn't. Or yes, I was. If you put yes or no, you put a comma. Now, who's going to answer this? Mr. Yamamoto, absent from class yesterday. Who's going to ask a question? Yalla, I'm listening. You can write it on chat or you can uh, say it. Yalla, let's do it together. Huh. Mr. Yamamoto, absent from class yesterday. What is the question? Was Mr. Yamamoto absent from class yesterday? Yes, and the answer will be yes. Yes, yes, he was. Yes, he was. Excellent. Allah inna wa Mumtaz. Oscar and Anya at home last night. Huh? Who's going to go ask a question? Yalla. Who's going to ask this question? Yes, sir. Yeah, go ahead. Where Oscar and Anya 
at at home last night. Yes, huh? Yes, they were. Bro, that's excellent. Number four, who's gonna say it? Who's going to say number four? You can write it or you can say it. If you'd like to write it on the chat, go ahead. Number four, what you were nervous the first day of class? Who can who can ask this question? Yo, like, I'm listening to you. Were you nervous the first day of class? No? Huh? What's the, what's the rest? No, I? No, I wasn't. Bravo, Alik. There. And then Ahmed. So you got the idea? It's very easy. You can you, you can continue with this one. I also sent the book in Telegram. So this is page number 218. So you have 216 and 200 until 2. 218. Yani just, yani, I'm not going to say it's homework, but just practice. If you have time, if you can. 216, 218, practice. If you can just look on it, and it will be uh, great. Now, okay, and until two pound, until, and also same like 219, 220, uh, practice. Am I with Kalam? Now, 221, we go to uh, simple past. Now, this is now we're going to go uh, a step forward in past simple. We're studying past now. So, simple present, I walk to school every day. Simple past, I walked to school every day. Simple present, and walks to school every day. Simple past, and walked to school every day. Now, the great thing about past simple is that the verb that requires ed will always have ed when, 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 whatever the sub the speaker is is a connective person persons or one person so it's i she he it's as we all they all take ed this is a very easy thing every day i walk you to school or every day i walk yesterday i huh, this is something to study and it's not very hard i huh, Easy. I walked. Every day I work. Yesterday I worked, watched, excellent, smiled, rained, asked, okay, uh, talked, listened. So it's good to also to study that. This is some of the sentences. Uh, and here we have, an, okay. Okay. So in page 222, I guess, yes, triple two. Yes, let's go and do this exercise. You are going to use it either on present simple or simple past, according to the sentences. Yalla, let me see which one you're going to choose right. It often rains in the morning. It rained yesterday. I know not to school, blank to school every morning. I to school yesterday morning. So I, which one you're going to use? I walk, exactly. I walk to school every morning. Uh, okay, I walked. I walked uh, you, uh, uh, to, uh, to school every, uh, yesterday morning. So often, no blank questions. So often what? So often asks, and she asked a question yesterday. Um, I uh, movie on uh, television last night. I usually so this one, first one is what in uh, number four. What's the first word? Excellent, Haider. Uh, excellent, Balsam. Excellent, good boy. The man. I walked. I, I watched. Sorry, I watched the movie. I usually, huh? Watch, bravo. What is other uh, meaning for watch? 
Tell me two meanings for watch. To tell me two meanings for watch. Exactly, watch monitor and watch hand clock. Exactly. Which watch where you are going. Okay, this is what does this mean? Watch where you are going. But it's, Mohsin, it's not hand clock. Yani. You cannot say hand clock. It's very funny. Yani. You can say that's hand watch. Yani. Hand, okay. Anyway, that's good. <coughs> okay, excellent. May I may. Okay, so page 222 also, there's a lot of practice. You can do it. And that will be for present simple. So another homework, right? A paragraph. Not less than six lines using present. Simple, continuous, Okay, using okay, write a paragraph not less than six lines using present simple continuous and past tense. So tomorrow you can share it with us for tomorrow, uh, or you can uh, send it to me if you'd like, and I will correct it for you. So uh, what we need is a paragraph not less than six lines using the three tenses we have learned so far, which is this present simple. Uh, continuous and past tense. You can use the book I sent on Telegram in order to uh, uh, help you. All right. So this will be all about grammar. So as you can see here, um, uh, in this page, in this book, it will be very helpful for you. It's very exciting. You can uh, always um, uh, um, try to uh, use this book to practice. In page number uh, 227, you will find some irregular verbs. And irregular verbs has no rule. You just have to study them. Like come, came, do, did, eat, ate, get, got, have, had, put, put, see, slept, stand, sto uh, stood, dry, throat. Okay. Some words are the same, like read, read, and read. Okay. So read is read, but it's written the same. You understand this rule? So some some words just be, uh, be just are the same, okay. So you you read and then if you read the book, it's the same words, but it's how you pronounce it, okay. So also you can uh, uh, also go through this one. Uh, some words do, do, never changes, like put, put and put. It's according to how to use it. I put my hand on my shoulder, or yeah, uh, uh, yesterday I put my hand on my shoulder. The same word is written, but it's according to the meaning. Sit and sat, sleep and slept, write and wrote. So past tense is very important when we, uh, and there is a very good exercise on page on uh, 20, 229 until 230. And you can go and uh, practice yourself uh, in this past simple. So any questions so far regarding grammar? Anybody like to ask me any question regarding grammar? I'm opening the chat and I'm listening to you. If you have any questions, because we'll go to the final part of our session today, which is the uh, reading part. We're going to go through reading. So every day, uh, and vocabulary as well, of course. So every day, as you can see, we have comprehension. We have uh, we had grammar, and we'll have do some reading. Um, and I'm going to ask you, would you like to have some reading or some vocabulary? I have a vocabulary book, and I have a reading book. What, which one you prefer? I'm, I, will, I will do what you want. Would you like to go for reading or for uh, 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 voc vocabulary? Please tell me. Reading. Okay. Haider reading, reading. Alhamima reading. 
اوكي بقيت الناس عودوا نفسكم على انكم تقولوا رايكم عشان ده مهم جدا ليكوا انتوا فالناس اللي قاعده ساكته عشان خاطر بتكلم عربي اهو الناس اللي قاعده ساكته يعني شاركوا في القصه عشان تقدر تستفيد حلو يعني انك تبقى مستمع يعني بس برضو يعني تشارك خلاص ريدنج يعني طيب ريدنج زي ما انتوا عايزين ليتس جو تو ذا فاينل بارت اوف اور ورك شوب توداي ويتش از ريدنج ستوريز حلو قوي وي هاف روبنسون كروزو وي هاد ا هوم ورك for chapter 3 4 and 5 who's going to tell us uh, what happened in chapter 3 4 and 5 these are not very long chapters so who's going to share with us what he wrote whether by telling us or by uh, uh, um, by uh, showing us okay um, yeah who's going to summarize page 3 uh, chapter 3 4 and 5 ah, i'm waiting we need somebody to tell us for those who, who did not read They will understand now what happened on page three, four, uh, chapter three, four, and five. Who's going to share with us? Allah ya shabab, ya jamaa. Ya khwana. لو فضلت سكتين حنام منكوا بقول لكوا هو حنام بس مش قادر خلاص. فيعني كلموني عشان أفضل مصاحصح. I guess they didn't understand what you said in English. So can you say it in Arabic for them? Okay. Mean, I will focus on the homework that was done in chapter three and four and five. We had a homework that we focus on chapter three and four and five. Okay. If you have any share, Allah is with you. Let's read. Robinson is young and strong and very ambitious guy. His journeys got in bad places and very unpleasant situation. Where he got to be a slave, he can't feel that uh, adrenaline. Uh, rush, uh, he feels that under any rush in his heart is the wrong place, uh, like a bird trapped in a cage. He sees a new hope, uh, uh, the love of his life. He feels that he's happy and the joy is back to his life. And he, as he feels that hope, a new hope, chance of escape, chance to get free. He has to choose his between his freedom and the love of life, either to choose physically and uh, his heart trapped with that woman. Chapter 3, Brabali Kahal. ممتاز 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 حيدر لخص لنا شابتر 3 شكرا يا حيدر هو از جوينج تو سمرايز شابتر 4 وي ديد شابتر 4 اكسلنت يا حيدر انا عامل لك لاف يا عم يلا بقى يا عم اعمل لك لاف ها مين لخص شابتر 4 اني بادي سمرايز شابتر 4 لايك حيدر ديد شابتر 3 يو كان يو كان شير ات ويز اس اور هي كان تيل اس وات هي اندرستود فروم شابتر 4 اني بادي حد هيشاركنا ولا شكلكم ما عملتوش الواجب ما انا عارف ان انتم مزنوقين والله العظيم اي نو ذات يو ار سو ماتش ترابت ان سو ماني سيشنز اند اي دونت وونت تو ميك ات هارد فور يو طيب تشابتر uh, 3 احنا خلصناها اوريدي تشابتر 4 التشابتر صغير قوي لاين اني بادي ريد تشابتر كولد لاين اوكي تشابتر 5 عندنا عبد الجليل فراس We did chapter three. Okay. Okay, tamam. Chapter five. Tell me chapter five. We continue our journey stopping only when we need fresh water. One day we see a group of people on the beach of many children. The people want to give us food, but we don't want to know how to take it. Two people run to the forest and return with some food. At the moment, two animals attack a young girl and I shoot them. The people are shocked when they hear the gun and uh, are happy that the girl is alive. They give us more uh, water than it offers his captain their boat, but the captain wants to pay it. Allah is very good, 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 One hour later, we were uh, we were ready. I uh, I and the boy uh, go to the boat. One man goes with us. He is uh, our boss for today. Soon we are far from the land, but we can't catch fish. Then we go very far from the land. Our boss thinks that we can catch fish there. At one moment, our boss goes to the front of the boat. I quickly push him to the sea. He want to swim back. I take a gun. 
When he sees a gun, he swims away. When he's away, I look to, at the boy. I want to know if he's on my side. I see that he's on my side. After two years, I'm free. We go very fast. The wind is good. The next day, we are far from the pirate land, but we do not stop. We continue. After six days, we must stop. We need some fresh water. We wait for the night, then we go to the land. When we are near land, we hear horrible noises. The boy doesn't want to continue. He's scared. We stay on the boat near the land, but we can't sleep. Some animals came to wash in the water. The animals make horrible noises. The boy is very scared. Then we hear that one animal swims to us. The boy wants to go away, but I don't want to go away. I take one gun. I shoot the animal. The animal turns. Then the animal swims to the land. The other animal hears the gun. They go away too. We stay on the boat. It's a morning. We eat bread for breakfast. The boy wants to go to the beach. I got I go with him. We take guns. We take big bottles for water. I don't go very far. I want to see the boat. The boy continues alone. The boy returns after some time. He runs. I think that some animal runs after him. Some animal, but I see nothing dangerous. Dangerous. He has an animal in his hand. The animal is a chicken. He's very happy. I'm happy too. We have good meat and fresh water. We don't see dangerous animals. I don't know where we are. I only know that we are near Africa. I think that we are near a land where no people live. We don't see people on the land. We only hear animals. One day when we go for fresh water, we see a lion. The lion sleeps on the beach. He's a very big. He's only 20 meters from us. The boy is scared. Then the lion opens his eye. When the lion sees us, he runs to us. We don't have much time. I must shoot at the lion. I have three guns. The first bullet hits his leg. The second bullet hits his head. And the third bullet finishes the animal. We can't eat the meat. The meat is not good, but we can take the skin. We put the skin on the boat. The skin is dry soon. دي كده كانت chapter four. كان في أسد طلع عليهم و chapter five إحنا رخصناه. So let's read chapter six. Who like to read? Yeah, let's read chapter six. Okay. شايف ناس هنا. Okay, they travel to many islands. They meet a Portuguese ship girl boy and the captain. Okay, chapter five. The travel to Brazil and uh, Robinson married the daughter girl of his friend. Uh, chapter six, Gurbe Allah Nawar Alik, he already did it. But we need someone to read for us. Yalla, who's going to read? Who Sir, volunteers? Uh, yeah. Sorry for interrupting. Can you share the screen, please? Oh, صح. And I'm not going to It's okay, no problem. Okay, so we would like to read. So this is. Okay, yeah, chapter six. Who's gonna read? Okay, Anybody? Can read? Yeah, please go ahead. Yes, yeah, chapter six. Uh, okay. wife, the boy wants to work for the captain, mm -hmm. so the boy starts to be a sailor. Excellent, the ship is on the way to Brazil. No, no, we, Brazil, bra, 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 Brazil. Brazil. Yes. We come to Brazil after 20 days. Excellent. They say goodbye to the boy uh, and the sailors. Mm -hmm. Brazil is a, a new state in the South, uh, in the South America. No, no, America. There, is, there is no that. In South America. In South America, mm -hmm. many people start a new life here. Mm -hmm. It is the same for me. Uh, uh, I know nobody here. Excellent. I meet I meet some people. They uh, they have a sugar. Uh, they have a sugar uh, plantations. Uh, plantations. Sugar plantations. They have uh, they have sugar plantations. This is the first time reading this. I... Yeah, sugar sugar plantation is like something uh, like a plant which contains sugar. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, soon. We are good friends. I like Brazil very much. Soon I learn the language. I have some money from the captain. I buy small land in Brazil. 
Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, my dear friend. We like to read again. Thank you very much. Very good reading. Excellent. Your reading is excellent. Yalla, I would like to continue. Okay. Yes. Come on, uh, go ahead, please. Can just give me I... a moment? Okay, okay, take your turn. Hello? Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, somebody was calling me from Morocco. Do you want me to uh, uh, plant some hair? I'm not going to do that. I love being bold. <laughs> okay, who's going to read? Yes. Okay, go ahead. I start to produce sugar. I don't okay. produce much at the beginning. Mm -hmm. But after three years, my temptation is big. Excellent. I am seeing I am single, but my life is good. My financial mm -hmm. situation is better every month. Mm -hmm. After three years in Brazil, I have enough money. I can have a woman for cleaning my house. Mm -hmm. I ask my friends if they know a good woman. One friend sa said, I have a daughter. She is 18 years old. Mm -hmm. I think that she can work for you. She's, she is also a very good cook. Excellent. The next day, the next day, his daughter comes to my house. She's friendly, but she's shy. Mm -hmm. She's also a very pretty girl. We talk. I tell her what I need. Okay. The next day, she comes to my house. Mm -hmm. She cleans the dirty floor. Mm -hmm. She cleans my uh, furniture. Excellent. She comes to my she comes to my house every morning mm -hmm. on Monday and on Thursday. She works for four hours. She mm -hmm. also cooks for me. She also gives food to my cat. Thank you very much. Yalla. Ah, next volunteer. Yalla, Lebadu. Would like to read. I need everybody to read and to and I need you to listen. Very good English. Excellent. You, you're reading very, very good. And I like I love that you are keeping the P and B very clear. MashaAllah Alik. Allah Akbar. Very good. Huh. Yalla, next. Who's like to read next? We have Gur Boy. I think he raised his hand. Uh, I am ahead. always happy. Hmm. I am I am always happy. I see the girl when sometimes. when I see when I see the girl. When I see the girl, sometimes we have breakfast or lunch together. No, no, lunch. We... La, 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 lunch. Uh, lunch together. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we, we talk. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, she is uh, she is ill. Mm -hmm. She can't come to my house. I feel a strange feeling when when she when she uh, when she not uh, when, when she, she is not, not in my house. Yeah. When she is not in my house. Mm -hmm. I miss her. I think maybe I love her. Mm -hmm. One week later, she comes to my house. I am happy when I see uh, when I see her. Mm -hmm. I see that I, she is happy too. Mm -hmm. I hug her. I hug then, hug hug her. I hug her. Then. خلاص خلاص مش هم مش مش لازم تقرأ الجملتين الأخيرين خش على اللي بعده على طول. Two weeks later. Two weeks later. I uh, I go to her. Uh, I go to her father. Uh, father's, father's house. house. Mm. Father's house. I ask him if uh, I can marry his uh, daughter. Uh, he is quiet. Quiet. I, quiet. I quiet. Quiet. Mm. quiet. I uh, I wait uh, for the answer. Then she she says. I he agree. says. Then he says. Uh, he, he says I agree. I agree. I, 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 I agree. 
I agree. I am very happy. Uh, I am very happy. Thank you very much, Shalla. Next one, uh, volunteer. This is the last sentences. Come on, huh? Thank you very much, good boy. Very good reading. Excellent. Montez. We have Asad, we have Balsam. Okay, ladies first. Ladies first, Asad. Okay, okay, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Two months two month later. 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 I, I marry the daughter. Daughter, I of, my, of my friend. Tamam. We start to plan of no 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 sorry man stop hop hop not to plan to plan plan I just could tell you so plan okay okay to plan a family this part of my life is 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 great is great تمام we have big plan for no ارجع ارجع با ارجع با عم أسعد با we have big plans we have big plan, big uh, plan mm -hmm. for my family no our for our family we have big plan for our هو بص هو هو الكاتب بتاع القصه ده بيرخم عليك عمال يحط لك الكلمه مرتين ورا بعض عشان يضايقك <تصفيق> طيب we have big plans we have big no. plans big plan uh, big plan طيب بصوا خلينا ناخد برنامج بص ثاني سوري يا اسعد معلش انا اسف انا بقطعك كده اتس نوت بيج بلانز اتس بيج بلانز يعني اعمل ستوب بعد كلمه بيج وبعدين خش بعديها على كلمه بلانز ده انا بحاول طبعا اديكم كل اللي اعرفه يعني سو اتس بيج بلانز وي هاف بيج بلانز اوكي وي هاف بيج بلان فور اور بلانتيشن وي نيد تو بيج بيجر هاوس اوكي شكرا جزيلا ثانك يو متشكر جدا يا اسعد حلوه جدا قرايتك ممتازه حلوه يعني جميل كويسه يلا بلسم ريد فور اس ذا لاست ثينك الله ينور يس اي ثينك اباوت ذا بزنس ان افريكا اي كان ميك ا لوت اوف ماني ان افريكا فاست اي اي سبيك اباوت افريكا لا 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 ثانيه واحده لا يا بلسم مش سبيك 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 اي سبيك يا يو سبيك اباوت افريكا With my friends, very mm -hmm. often, I tell my friends uh, that we can make a lot uh, of money in Africa. Excellent. Time. Uh, chapter seven is homework. Can show Allah to balko dilat halan fil chat. Chapter seven. Chapter seven is homework. Just read it, okay? And uh, we can uh, uh, volunteer. You can volunteer to tell us uh what happened in in chapter seven i will again send the story now to the telegram so if you don't have the uh story you can still uh watch it let me share it in telegram yeah here you go so i will just share it right now let's go uh, back up okay just one minute english grammar stories robinson crusoe sent okay so it's central right now and chapter seven is home So today we made uh, some grammar, we made some reading, uh, we solved the homework, and we uh, talked uh, at the beginning about uh, um, uh, uh, some, uh, so uh, we, we talked about at the beginning at um, uh, comprehension, we, we use comprehension, and then we talk about grammar, and then we talk about the story. Tomorrow we'll try to do something different, we'll go back to vocabulary. And I hope that you enjoyed this session today. I don't want to make it hard for you. I know that how much tired you are and how much exhausted you are. And uh, I want you to enjoy the English session as much as I enjoy it. Wallahi al-Azim, as much as I'm tired, but I really, I really enjoy being with you. فحاول بالعربي يعني طبعا انا مش عايز اضغط عليكم وعايزكم تاخدوا الموضوع باستمتاع وعايزكم تستمتعوا جدا على قد والله انا ببقى خارج من التريننج مرهق جدا وتعبان بس اول ما اكون معاكم على على البرنامج ببقى سعيد فعلا وعندي حماس وقوه حقيقيه فانا اتمنى من ربنا سبحانه وتعالى ان انتم تستمتعوا و انا الهوم وركس طبعا الادمن هيبعته لكم على التليجرام وانا بعت لكم الكتب ان شاء الله باذن الله سبحانه وتعالى اخر سيشن خالص هتبقى فيها امتحان والامتحان ده هيبقى فيه كومبريهنشن وهيبقى فيه جرامر وان شاء الله باذن الله كلكم هتعرفوا درجاتكم وهيبقى فيه شهاده باذن الله سبحانه وتعالى انا يهمني بس ان انتوا تبراكتس 
as much as we can. وبعد ما نخلص الثمانية سيشنز دول نبتدي نفكر بقى إذا كنتوا أنتوا عايزين تاني سيشنز ممكن نخش نعمل نعمل تاني مثلا أو as you like يعني زي ما أنتوا عايزين إن شاء الله بإذن الله. ربنا يخليك يا منى أشكرك جدا على كلامك الكبير اللي أنا ما استحقوش خالص يعني. أنا شكرا يا بدور جزاك الله خيرا ربنا يخليكي. أه الحمد لله يا منى يا رب نكون دايما عند حسن ظنكم أه زي لازم تعرفوا كويس قوي انه انا أه ربنا يخليك يا مصطفى جدا جزاك الله خير والله ربنا يخليك يا جربوي أه يعني اشكرك يا احمد اشكرك يا اسعد انا بس عايز اقول لكم كلمه مهمه جدا ودي من قلبي ليكم انه كل ما بتعمل حاجه بحب للانسان اللي قدامك هو بيحسها فانا فعلا والله العظيم انا وانا بدرس الانجليش ده انا بعمله بحب يعني الموضوع بالنسبه لي مش سيشن انا عايز لا بالعكس انا ببقى سعيد وانا بستفيد وبتعلم وانتوا النهارده يعني علمتوني حاجات وخلتوني اخد بالي مصطفى النهارده خد خلاني اخد بالي من الـ من الكومبريشن انا ما كنتش شايف خالص كلمه نط فده حاجه رائعه يعني فحاولوا تعملوا الهوم وركس حاولوا تفتحوا الكتب اللي انا بعتها لكم وثقوا تماما انه 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 الانجليش محتاج ممارسه اي حد محتاج يجي يتشات معايا على الواتساب بتاعي هكتب رقمي تاني هنا او اي حد محتاج ان هو مثلا يعمل سيشن ويفتح زوم ويجي يقعد يتكلم معايا ديالوج شويه انا في اي وقت من الاوقات ان شاء الله انا معاكم وربنا يجازيك يا حميه يا رب وربنا يجازيك خير يا مرتضى وشايده شاديه ولا شيده عباس ربنا يجازيكم كلكم خير ده الرقم بتاعي اهو بلس 966 5410723326 ده رقم اللي عليه الواتساب اي وقت محتاجين تتكلموا اي وقت محتاجين تتشات انا مستعد براكتس معايا حد ان شاء الله وفي نهايه السيشن السيشن يعني السيشن الاخيره اللي هي رقم 8 دي هتكون تيست هبقى انا هديكم الامتحان وهديكم الكومبريشن وهتبقوا احنا اونلاين مع بعض هتاخدوا وقتكم كله في حل التيست ال2 اورز كلهم في حل التيست وبعد ما نخلص نبتدي نحله مع بعض ونحط ماركينج لنفسنا عشان نبتدي نحط الدرجات لنفسنا، يعني انا مش هقدر اصلح الامتحان، لكن انا همسك الورقه ونبتدي نصلح لنفسنا، يبقى يخلي معاك قلم احمر والاجابه اللي صح انا اي تراست يو سو ماتش حطها صح والاجابه اللي غلط حطها غلط وفي الاخر هنقول الدرجه من كام وهتحط لنفسك الدرجه وبعد كده ان شاء الله الادمن هيبعت لي اكسل شيت بعد ما تكون اخذ اسماء الناس كلها وانا هبعت للادمن كل الشهادات بي دي اف باذن الله سبحانه وتعالى. شوفكم على خير وبكره يوم جديد ان شاء الله احنا بكره ميعادنا الساعه كام؟ بكره اربعه ولا سته؟ حد عارف؟ بتهيألي بكره سته صح؟ اعتقد بكره الجمعه مش كده؟ اربعه اربعه بكره طب طب كويس الحمد لله. انا بكره عندي تريننج برضو انا هقول لكم بقى حاجه جميله جدا انا عندي تريننج هنا جميل قوي. بشتغل ايه يا جماعه؟ سبت حد اثنين ثلاث وبعدين اريح الاربع وبعدين ابدا خميس جمعه سبت حد الكلام ده لحد اخر السنه. فانا ما عنديش غير يوم الاربع بس هو الوحيد اللي ببقى ما عنديش شغل فيه. بس هي الفكره كورس يعني تقيل قوي بس الحمد لله بس مش هيمنعني منكم ان شاء الله برضه. بس واتمنى لكم يوم سعيد ومساء سعيد وربنا يوفقكم ان شاء الله باذن الله. اي حد محتاج مني اي حاجه من عينيا. طيب شكرا جزيلا استاذ ما قصرت. ربنا يخليك يا تقدر تاخذ راحتك. وخلي بالكم من نفسك ويعني خلي يلا اشوفكم على خير. سلام عليكم. باي باي. مع السلامه.